and still with the BJP, former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Kiran Kumar Reddy joined the party on Friday, becoming the second former Congress leader to switch sides in just two days after Anil Antony, the son of Congress veteran leader from Kerala, A.K. Antony, also joined the party yesterday. Kiran Kumar Reddy, who served as the last Chief Minister of the undivided Andhra Pradesh before the formation of Telangana in 2014, resigned from the Congress this year in March over differences with the party leadership. In fact, Kiran Kumar Reddy's decision to join the BJP comes ahead of the Assembly elections in Andhra Pradesh next year, where the ruling YSR Congress and the main opposition Telugu Desam Party are locked in a bitter contest. The move could potentially tip the scales in favour of the BJP, which is hoping to make inroads in the state. Unfortunately, what has happened is, state after state, due to bad decisions and wrong decisions of the Congress High Command. The party is getting damaged totally in all the states. They don't interact with the people. They don't take the opinions of the leaders. It is not a story in one state. It is a story throughout the country. Due to lack of interaction, they do not know which leader, the characters of the leaders, or who should be assigned what jobs in a state for the party to go forward. Kiran Kumar Reddy himself, he was a MLA, four times MLA. He was speaker. He was chief whip. And you all, all know, in a very crucial time, he was chief minister also. And uh, if I can tell you, Kiran Kumar Reddy is a good cricketer also. Yes. <laughs> he has played up to Ranji. And uh, he opened his innings in the Congress. And now, <laughs> after closing that innings in the Congress, now he is opening a new innings. And I hope he will score and he will bat very well in the Party Janta Party. Yes, indeed. The optics certainly tell a story because yesterday we saw A.K. Antony's son, uh, Anil Antony, make that switch. And today, Kiran Kumar Reddy, who is also from a, a traditional Congress family, now making the switch. But I must point out the reality of uh, the situation in which Kiran Kumar Reddy has made the switch because uh, he was, as you mentioned, uh, Chief Minister, uh, the last Chief Minister of United Andhra Pradesh. And he, in fact, said that he would give up politics if Andhra Pradesh gets bifurcated. But Andhra Pradesh did bifurcate. And uh, uh, just months before that, he uh, gave his resignation. He resigned as Chief Minister and he was asked to continue as caretaker Chief Minister before uh, the state went into President's uh, rule. And uh, what uh, I must point out is that subsequently for the 2014 elections, he had uh, started something called a Jai Samai Kyandra Party, which is a United Andhra Pradesh Party, but that failed to make any dent at all, did not win a single seat. And even otherwise, the Congress was uh, virtually wiped out in Andhra Pradesh because the anger of bifurcation uh, sp uh, spilled over on the uh, Congress party and ever since then it has not managed to revive itself at all. So Kiran Kumar Reddy is someone who managed to, uh, who uh, gave up on his own party, came back to the Congress again in 2018 but did not make any impact politically, uh, neither did the Congress party to which he belongs and therefore now when he has joined the BJP in Andhra Pradesh, uh, the BJP also very fledgling uh, kind of a presence. It's only the YSR Congress and the Telugu Desam that are very much in the reckoning and uh, the Janasena of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Pavan Kalyan, which is spoken about. Otherwise, BJP quite a marginal player in Andhra Pradesh. But the fact that uh, Kiran Kumar Reddy is at least a well-known, recognized face, having been a former chief minister and also belonging to the Reddy caste, which is a politically dominant caste. And uh, the uh, common understanding is that uh, the Reddies were the vote bank in a sense of uh, the Congress or rather the Congress enjoyed the support of the Reddies and that's, uh, that, uh, that community is said to have uh, moved to the YSR Congress and now if, if Kiran Kumar Reddy comes in we must wait and see whether he is able to attract that uh, uh, bank or that, uh, that community which is considered as politically very significant uh, in Andhra Pradesh in fact in both the Telugu states as well.